Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. In today's video, I'll be using Honeybee Stamps Homestead Harvest Paper Pad, their Lovely Layers Wagon Wheel Die Set. I also have their Lovely Layers Autumn Bouquet, and for a sentiment, Best of Everything Stamps and Coordinating Honeycut Dies. I've already gone ahead and cut out the two main pieces for the wagon wheel. I use some light tan, sort of a craft colored cardstock. I'm adding a little extra ink to the edge of the wheel using Catherine Pooler's Icing on the Cake ink color. This will help bring out some of the etch detail on the wheel. It's a little hard to see on the video, but the wheel and the spokes have a fun wood grain etch detail. I'll also add some ink along the edge of the spokes. Once those are finished, I'll glue the two pieces together. I'm using Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. Now on both of the wheel pieces, there are two small notches. One's a little more prominent than the other, and that's what you can use to help line up the two pieces together. Now I say this and I ended up lining up the wrong two notches, but no problem, I was able to lift up that top portion of the wheel and reattach it. For the inside of the wheel, the larger piece I cut out from some gold pearlescent cardstock and the very center piece I used some dark brown cardstock. And I'll just glue all of those in place. So there is my wheel all finished. I love all the detail. I will be popping up the wheel with some foam dimension. I'm using some thin foam strips and I remove the backing on both sides. That way I can easily bend it around the curve of the wheel. I will need to cut some smaller pieces for that last little section and also for the very center of the wheel. This foam dimension is about an eighth of an inch wide so it fits perfectly behind the wagon wheel. I could cut some even smaller pieces to fit behind the spokes, but I think having it on the outside of the wheel and the center provides enough stability. I'll set the wheel aside and start working on the card. I selected two pattern papers from the Homestead Harvest Paper Pad. I know it's almost Christmas, but I am completely finished with making Christmas cards this year, so I decided to pull out some of the fun goodies from Honeybee Stamps' recent fall release. But I think all of these products work well for cards year-round. It doesn't have to be for fall cards. One of my favorite pattern papers in the Homestead Harvest collection is this lovely floral paper, brown with some cream and pink flowers. I layered the background piece on some brown cardstock, added a panel of some yellow pattern paper, sort of looks like fabric, layered that piece also on the same brown cardstock. After adding my card front onto a card base, I'll put the wagon wheel in the very center of the card. Using more pattern paper from the Homestead Harvest Collection, I cut two small pieces. Now I'll use my scissors and cut a fishtail on the bottom of both of the pieces, creating small banners. I'll add the pink banner down first in the upper left hand corner. Before adding the mustard yellow banner, I'll first put a small scrap piece of pattern paper on the right side of the pink banner. That way the yellow banner stays at the same level and doesn't dip down on the right side. I cut out several foliage pieces from the Lovely Layers Autumn Bouquet die set. I have two sets of leaves in a pretty pink color that matches the pink flowers on the background paper. I also have an image that I think looks like thistles, although I'm using completely different colors, trying to match the pattern paper. I have light pink paper for the stems and leaves and a light yellow for the flower portion. And the light yellow paper I use for the flowers is more of the pattern paper from the Homestead Harvest paper pad. Now I'll start tucking all of the foliage pieces behind the wheel on the right side. Put glue on the back, making sure it's attached to the wheel. After adding the two leaf pieces, next I'll add the flowers. And I did tear off the very bottom of the stem since I don't want the flowers going too high above the leaves. If I notice any areas where the leaves or flowers are lifting up, I'll add another small drop of glue and press them in place. 
For a sentiment, I've already stamped and cut out, hello, my friend. I love the variety of sentiments on the best of everything stamp set. Perfect to use year round. I'll be adding it on the bottom of the wheel, more on the right side. Before adhering it down, I will add some foam dimension behind the sentiment, just in the areas where it's not sitting on the main rim of the wheel. And I'll put glue on the back of the area where it sits on the wheel and adhere the sentiment in place. I tend to choose more general sentiments. That way I can use the card for lots of different occasions. Just add another sentiment on the inside. To finish off the card, I'm using Nouveau Glitter Drops. This is the white blizzard color. Adding a little bit of sparkle to the two light yellow flowers and also the tips of the pink leaves. I'm adding a very light amount on the tips of the leaves, just going for that tiny bit of sparkle. And the nice thing about the glitter drops, it's all sealed so it doesn't make a glittery mess. So there is my finished card. I love how this turned out. I did end up making a total of six following this design. I used three different sets of pattern paper and different colors for the foliage and also the wheel. And for four of the cards, I decided to go with a thinking of you sentiment instead of hello, my friend. All of the pattern paper is from the Homestead Harvest Paper Pad. It's one of my favorites from Honeybee Stamps. Since I'm all finished with Christmas cards for the year, I'll probably start working on some Valentine's Day cards soon. If you are interested in any of the products I used in this video, I do have links provided in the description box below. Be sure to like this video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.